Hello, Mayday family. How are you doing? My name is May. For those of you that are new to my channel, I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. So back again with some James Charles drama. As usual, so nothing new there. Apparently, James Charles has been engaging in some pretty questionable behavior again, yet again. So if you remember, James Charles initially came out with uh, an apology video a couple of years ago. However, he has since then deleted said apology video. I think it's time that we In case anybody isn't aware of what's going on, within the past couple of weeks, two different people, both of the have recently come forward saying that they had inappropriate messages on social media. Uh, one of them being from last year and one of them being from more recent. Uh, in both of these cases, I had a few people on Snapchat, asked how old they were right away, were told that they were 18, believed them, engaged in a flirty conversation, and then later on, found that they were actually 16. Uh, upon finding out, I was immediately embarrassed and blocked both people. Later on, when I saw them making videos about it and those videos going viral. All right, so the first two days passed by, whatever, and the third day is just like that. Um, remember, he said that he wasn't looking for anything, right? But anyways, later on during that day, I was and I posted the staff in these questions, and he responded to my story saying, Daddy, baby. So I was like, um, but I found a little odd that he started calling me baby and daddy, because it's like, you don't call your friends that, right? So this is part two of the James Charles story. So after sending me that first picture of his body, um, explicitly, he sent me multiple after that, and I'll post them now. Did you know taking toys away? Really uncomfortable, so I told him my age. I told him I'm 16. Meanwhile, he's 21. He's a grown man. And then he proceeds to say, oh, but I didn't get to see the, yeah, meaning my body. And after telling him, like, no, like, I'm not going to send it to you, he kept on asking for pictures and videos of body hair and me flexing and stuff. My immediate reaction, completely honestly, was to be really, really upset. I wanted to get on camera and film another number of live video where I gather all the receipts and all the screenshots and try to tell my side of the story and then to move on to the situation. And now looking back, that was so stupid because as I did more research on these topics and self-reflected, I realized that the receipts and the screenshots and the and the specific details of the interaction really don't matter because and I need to take accountability for my actions and most importantly apologize to people that work on these conversations should have never happened. James Charles then came back with another apology video uh, after the first apology video that he had deleted uh, not too long ago, just a few weeks ago, an open conversation. I did a review on that one. It is crazy. One of the craziest videos I've ever seen. And I just, you know what? I made a video on it. If you haven't watched it, make sure to go ahead and watch it because you're not gonna wanna miss that. You wanna just kind of get an idea of what this kid has been up to. It's nuts. Um, but I did a therapist reaction on it. So if you haven't watched it, make sure to watch that. So he did a second video apart from uh, the one that he initially deleted because basically what he said was the video that he initially deleted, I guess, wasn't, very received positively and in his mind that would i guess that was a good enough reason to delete the video i don't know james charles is just like something different <laughs> this is so funny y'all i just can't even like make this with a straight face because it's that crazy but after coming back he now proceeds to involve himself in some more scandal so james charles recently posted this from my understanding on his instagram where he is at an arcade, you guys. He's in an arcade and he has his flyer open. And so everyone is utterly confused as to like why he's at an arcade posting with his flyer open. And obviously he's doing this on purpose. Okay, we'll talk about that. But everyone is so confused. But apart from that, everyone is super concerned. He is about 23, 24, around that age, and has been caught more than once engaging in inappropriate sexual behavior with minors, so kids that are uh, under the age of 18. I'm not sure how this guy is still roaming free at this point. Like, I don't know, as no one reported him to the cops, is this what money does, you know? money gets you in our society. 
above the law i'm not understanding how he's still free with the fact that they have had a few people come out and say that james charles was inappropriate with them and they those people were underage so of course people are concerned at this point but this is so bad because it's just so inappropriate and not to mention that it's illegal really you have been accused more than once you take it upon yourself to post in an arcade where children go to it's children that go there and um with your flyer down it's just it's really kind of it's just gross to be honest with you i don't really know how this guy keeps getting away with these things but here we are so if you guys don't remember the past video so apparently he's he has learned nothing like i said in my initial therapist reaction video again if you haven't watched it go ahead and watch it this guy hasn't learned anything and yes he has narcissistic tendencies and behaviors if you guys can read what that says on top of his head that says master so he's posing at an arcade with his flyers with his flyer open and the words master above his head and his image at this point is just completely tarnished at some point his followers who are mostly kids which is the scary part are gonna grow up and realize how disgusting this is but this just goes to show yet another layer of why i have such a strong suspicion that james james charles is in fact a full-blown narcissist he takes to his story to post this picture and he, he captions it about to get glam featuring featuring at real purple playing bed wars to keep me entertained playing bed wars to keep me entertained what the heck and this kid you guys this kid is 16 years old apparently so very inappropriate which is what makes me think he's doing it for attention and publicity and it never ceases to amaze me what these beauty gurus or beauty scammers won't do for attention it's crazy i mean there's just nothing they won't do they will stoop to any woes just to make sure that we keep talking about them and they their name stays in the news whether it's good or bad and i think that's essentially what james charles is doing here because obviously he knows what he's doing this is super blatant he's not even trying to hide the fact that he's trying to use this as a marketing ploy and i and like i said i think that his views are probably lower or significantly lower than what they used to be before he took his little his little break and now he's trying to like amp it up by creating some drama and having the news outlets and people like me talk about him this is a, a kid that hasn't learned a thing he's the same person he hasn't repented learned anything and his reputation continues to precede him right so again we're seeing this kind of outlandish behavior almost like he's trying to follow in the footsteps of jeffree star because to be honest jeffree star is one of the most controversial people out there but actually the richest youtuber out there as well so i'm feeling like he's using this just to kind of bring his name up much like jeffree star used to do on a very regular basis he's he's a manipulator so you have to remember that as well and uh you know tati recently came back as well they're both kind of acting like nothing ever happened so i don't know i'm not really seeing the point of cancel culture i'm not seeing that it actually works i think it's kind of like um it's at the very least it puts some pressure on them so it's better than nothing but also i'm just like i feel like cancel culture should be a thing where if you're canceled you're done and that's not what happens for these people these people literally uh they leave for a few months like james charles did like tati westbrook did and then they just end up coming back two three months later giving a bs video 
calling it an apology when it's clearly not and everyone can see that it's not and then moving forward to act like nothing happened. Now, what's crazy is that James Charles came back. He's been making several different types of videos of cooking, playing video games. He says that he wants to get into gaming more. It's just weird. It's like all these territories where he doesn't belong. And again, it makes me think like he's just doing this for attention. Is that what it is? Is he not getting as many views as he used to get before? So he's just trying to like, you know, ramp up the amount of times his name is being mentioned on the internet. Cause you know, he's trying to become a, it's just crazy. He's trying to become a gamer, but I, I didn't even know he could get like, I don't know, ultimately, I think he's doing it for attention. I think that he's doing it for the press, for the media. And I just think that they will stoop to no lows. So they don't really care if the attention is good or bad because they know as long as their name is on the news and people are talking about them, then they can remain relevant. And I think that's really what's going on here. And I also think that he's probably not been, maybe, maybe he's not been getting as many views as he used to in comparison to before this whole scandal and ha he had to leave for a few months or something like that. So he's maybe trying to ramp it up a little bit. Uh, that's Those are my initial thoughts. There you have it. But let me know what you think about this. Comment below. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks so much for joining me for another therapist reaction video. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.